Hey folks, Pastor Jay Jackson here at Trinity Lutheran Church. We're glad that you're a part of our worship community. This is kind of our midweek moment. Uh, we want to kind of look at what, how um, we've been doing some things on Sunday. We want to look forward to the next Sunday uh, in the context of one of what Ryan McAllister is walking through with us. Uh, Ryan's our, our worship pastor, does a great job of walking us through Ephesians 4. And so he did that this Sunday. He started with what is called one. We uh, looked at verses one through six and uh, really just did a fantastic job in leading us through that. Well, one of the things that he definitely talked about was um, how we can get into the hard with other people, right? That was something that really stuck out with me and I really want to lift that up to you today as well. How do we get into the hard? with that. So we really want to encourage you to, to be a part of this community by diving into the hard with other people. Uh, maybe it's somebody in our own community. Maybe it's somebody in your circle of friends that you would know. But um, as part of this, uh, there's a, a challenge that we're doing each week. And then we're just going to kind of lift up that challenge to you today. So that challenge exercise is two minutes. Uh, we're not going to walk through it all today, but it is 30 seconds of stillness. And then there's a prayer, and then another 30 seconds of sitting and reflecting. So we'd like to, to do the prayer part with you, understanding that when we pray, we are expecting God to answer us, right? So when we pray, we are expecting God to answer us. God does answer us however God deems fit. But if we're going to pray for something, we have to expect that God will answer it. So when we're praying today to get into the mire and the muck and the heart with other people, when that opportunity is presented to us, what are we prepared to do then? So that is what we're going to lift up today, just to encourage you to, to do these practices, to, to encourage you to really be a part of this, to share this with other people. I'm actually on the Bible app right now. Uh, for those of you who may have the Bible app as part of your uh, weekly thing, I know we get a lot of email reminders. I'm friends with a lot of you. Uh, use the Bible app. It's the U version Bible app. All of our information is on there. We're going to do this week by week, and it's got the challenge as well as the, the scriptures, the whole thing. So it's a great resource. Uh, if you'd like to use it as links to other pieces that we do, uh, including Ryan's message from Sunday, which I'd encourage you to watch again at some point. But um, I'd like to end us with prayer. I'd like to end with the intentional prayer to ask someone or ask God to invite someone into your life that you can get into the hard with. Or if somebody's already in the hard with you, to give you the strength and the courage to remain in the hard, to continue to walk through that. So let's begin with prayer, let's end with prayer, if you don't mind, and uh, we'll be done then for that, all right? So God, thank you again for this opportunity to dive into your word through the book of Ephesians, through Paul who wrote this for us. There is just so much there available as we look toward the oneness, to be one in your kingdom, through the one body, the one spirit that is given to us all. We want others to be involved in this. And so as we bear, begin to bear one another's burdens and become part of that uh, process of walking with one another, we ask that you will place someone in our life that we can walk with, that we can get into the hard with. Understanding, of course, we know that it will disrupt our own easy lives for a little bit, but we would like you to, to be able to do that so we can be the hands and the feet of Christ as we move forward. So thank you again for this incredible opportunity to walk with you, to walk with other people, and to grow in our faith as we show others what it means to be one in the body of Christ. We do it all through our son, Jesus, your son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. All right, folks, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to do these each week after uh, our messages. We're just really glad that you're a part of our community. We pray for you. Uh, we're lifting you up, and we hope that you are definitely engaged with us. God loves you. So do I.